what is up you guys so in today's video kind of unfortunate i did get a flat tire but that's okay because i'm going to be showing you guys how to patch it using one of those little kits that you can get on amazon let's get right to it so i was driving down the street and something went into my tire it seems kind of big i saw it and i had to get somewhere so i just had to drive on it and by the time i was done let me show you guys how it is looking right now all right well here is the tire fully flat i did wait i had to go and do something and i waited a little bit too long and you guys can see just how flat it is and how slanted the truck is so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do it very quickly and this is only something that should be done temporary so what you do after you patch it is go on your way to the tire shop to go ahead and obviously patch your tire professionally all right so here is what is in my tire it's pretty deep in there i would assume here's my tire at the moment so the things that we need are going to be this tire patch kit as you guys can see i've used this plenty of times before i'm just going to use this plier of course to pump back up the tire we have one of these i do have my portable one but i think this is going to do a quicker job so this one plugs obviously right into your car so i'm going to pull it out really quickly it's not going to go out that fast because i mean it's already super flat is with this you go ahead and feed them through because the patch is so big i'm putting two of them and I'm just going to put a whole bunch of the cement, whatever's left in here, onto these. And then after you pull that out, you want to put this in there and kind of just rub around the hole just to get it prepped and ready for this to bond to it. So that is pretty tight in there. <clears throat> yeah, that is pretty tight in there. All right, so I got most of it out. And now I think it's just a little more. Oops. Let's see if I can pull this out right now. So I don't know what this is. Oh, okay. All right, so I pulled up the truck a little more to get more space because I don't want to keep hitting this. And this thing is really wedged in there. I have no idea what this even is, but I mean, I'm happy that it's only a little part right here that got in. It's not something this big because if it's something this big, it could be a little more problematic. So I got more of it out and more of it is still in there. So still going at it. It's been about 15 minutes now and this thing, super strong, man. <laughs> all right so just got it out if anyone knows what this thing even is let me know because i have no idea what the heck this is so now i want to find where the insertion is and it would be more ideal if i had some soap and water and i can just spray it on but i don't have that now all right so i found the area now you want to go ahead and just twist it and then try and pull it back and forth okay so now i prepped it now let's go ahead and shove this one in so i shoved it in just like this and now i'm gonna have to pull it really quickly out all right you guys so now it is patched and i'm gonna go ahead and try filling it up now see if it's gonna hold some air and then we'll be on our way because like i said this is only temporary i don't hear it as of now but like i said of course the ideal method of testing if that is leaking is to spray some soap and water on that area although i may have something i will check but uh let's go ahead and keep filling this up all right so here i do have a little bit of something not necessarily soapy water but it's still nonetheless a cleaning solution so i went ahead and sprayed all around it and you can see that once you get a nice lather on there if you don't see much bubbles, let's see if there's anything. So I don't see anything coming out necessarily. So you would see some bigger bubbles forming, but for now, I don't think I see any. All right, so we can see it's holding air going up slowly, but surely it's at 16. Ignore this one right here, it's above 35. I was just testing out a pump. The normal PSI that I like to put it at is 35, although they say 32, but it's a little hot right now, so I'm gonna just leave it like the other ones and put it at 35. All right, so we are back. It is reading about 31. I'm gonna leave it at around there. 
tires looking great, of course. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the cap back on and hope for the best and head to the tire shop. All right, you guys, so I just finished driving about two and a half miles. It held its PSI still at 28. So that's a success right there. So we patched it correctly, didn't leak at all. And now time to fully professionally patch it. I think it's gonna, it's so funny, it actually just went up a PSI. So uh, I guess there we go. We did uh, really well, it's at 29 PSI. But usually when they patch it, they put something on the inside. Obviously they take it off the rim and you know, um, they kind of do it fully professionally. And it shouldn't cost too much if it's a small hole. I have a guy who will do it for extra cheap. He usually charges around 20 to $40. So not too bad, but I know also some places like Discount Tire can sometimes do it for free depending on the tire size hole. So make sure you check with your local tire shop. Sometimes you can get a free or get it at a cheap discount, but don't let them convince you into buying a whole new tire. Cause if you patched it, then it's a small hole and you don't need a new one. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And like I said, in my description below, I'll be linking a good one because the kit that I have is not too good. And I just bought a new one and it looks like it's gonna be a lot better. So I'll link that one that I just bought in my description. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So always better safe than sorry. Keep an emergency kit with you. I'll link a couple things as well to help you guys out if you need them. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.